Jojo Siwa exposed for her song Karma? This song is so special and I knew that I wanted this song to be not only a part of my life, but part of my life in such a massive way, in such a big picture. Remember a few weeks back, all that drama about how she treated her dancers? That feels like ages ago now. Jojo decided to completely change her image like a total rebrand. Last night I said that maybe Jojo Siwa isn't actually singing in her new song. She's been teasing like an instrumental. How am I supposed to know, right? She is in fact singing. The thing is, she sounds good. It all started with a cryptic message on social media, a warning about viewer discretion. Fans were so confused about it, especially when the JoJo they knew was all fun and colorful. Then came a flood of bizarre photos, her hanging out with girls in a way that felt off, flipping the camera off and the way she dressed, well, let's just say it wasn't exactly family friendly. We were all left wondering what on earth was going on. Finally, the big reveal, the music video. Now, no one could ever describe it because it was like a crazy mashup of a Disney villain, a monster movie, and someone's bad dream. People online went wild making parodies left and right. It was a whole thing, but JoJo didn't stop there. She went on this huge press tour trying to sell this whole bad girl JoJo image. The internet has gotten very mad at me, but at the end of the day, I made the art that I wanted to, and I am so excited to bring this version of pop music back. It felt forced like she was trying to be someone else entirely. Remember Miley Cyrus when she went all edgy? Yeah, it was like that, but somehow less convincing. And then there was the whole gay pop thing where she claimed to have invented the new music genre, which, come on, everybody knows has existed for decades. The internet, as you can imagine, was not impressed. Some people thought it was disrespectful, others thought it felt fake. Now, here's the thing. The music itself wasn't bad, it was catchy even. But this whole rebranding thing overshadowed everything. It felt desperate, like she was trying too hard to be something she wasn't. We don't know what JoJo was aiming for here, but maybe she felt like she needed to grow up and ditch the kitty pop image. But there's a way to mature your sound without alienating all your fans, right? Turns out in her efforts to sound more mature, she might have gotten the idea for her new song somewhere else, or simply her new song Karma might not just be hers. Because fans were able to dig up Brit Smith's Karma's up, which surfaced in 2012. This is not real, this is not real, there's no way this is real. This made fans all the more enraged, saying that JoJo was feeling it all as if she wrote the song, and that she even said she wanted it to be her life when she was interviewed on her tour. Yikes. We actually recorded Karma six different times. I had six sessions on Karma a couple times with different vocal producers. And that was really just because it's such a massive song with so many elements. Now, the song never got an official release under Brit and was clearly sold to JoJo Siwa. And this could have been totally fine, but considering what JoJo has been saying about the song, it's no wonder everyone's finding it insane.